things. Now we are going to talk about a, uh, a scenario where lots of time uh, a person creates a user layout and you want to keep make it as a global layout. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So first I'm going to FBL1N. Okay, so that's the transaction, and you and this can be used across any uh, T code. So if I go here and you can see open items, and suppose I have this layout, okay, and I have saved it as a user layout, okay. So what I've done here is I changed it and I made this as a user layout test user, okay. Now is a user layout and now I want this to be converted as a global layout and suppose this person has left the company and lots of times what happens is you, you know the layout has been created but since he has left the company you can't really help so the only way you have to again create this layout so how can how you can do that so for that there I have created a program a web program that I have mentioned in the community tab and you can get it from there and here you will just execute and here I will click this and here you have to give test user the thing that you want to copy from and we will give another name suppose um, test group okay so this is the name I'll give and I'll execute the moment I execute, I get copy complete. The, the layout has been completed. Now, what I am going to do is I will go to this place again to FBL 1N and we'll try to find the layout. Okay. So here you can see it's test global that has been created. And anyone who has SAP can use this transaction code, this layout, and it's very much easy. So in this way, you can convert the user layout to a global layout so that you can share across multiple users. Again, the, the, use, the, the use of user layout is to make sure that no one uh, misuses it or changes it so that you will have trouble. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.